Welcome back to Prep Peeves. My name is Anna Schreckengost, and this is a show about stuff that ticks me off. Let's get started. Flooding. Crazy schedule changes. We start with third period and it's 50 minutes, and seventh period is 80. When people listen to music without headphones. (laughs) Extreme senioritis. Do I seriously have to be here? When people post dumb stuff on Schoology. The cool guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to keep emailing me the stuff that ticks you off at anna.shrekin at gprep.com. Thanks, guys. I love hanging out with teenagers all day. I think they're very fun. And, uh, you you know, lesson plans go flat sometimes, but kids are always kids and it makes it entertaining, even if if it's not the best lesson in the world. (laughs) My favorite food, every year for my birthday, I get to pick the dinner. And my favorite dinner that I've had for the last, like, decade and I actually just had it last night, is a barbecued steak with um, potatoes and Brussels sprouts. No, when I was little, I was going to be a famous singer, and that lasted quite a while. And then in middle school, maybe, I decided I was going to be in business, like my parents. And then I realized that was not where my skills lied. So um, then... Like junior year of high school, I had a really great English teacher and was inspired to teach English. And then I ended up double majoring English and Spanish because I couldn't pick. And here I am, a Spanish teacher. Okay, this is a funny question. I have a dream car and then my reality dream car. My real dream car is I've always wanted a Jaguar, but only if I can have free service and easily get it repaired because I know that they don't do that. I just love the look of them, especially the ones from the 90s. I think they're awesome. My real dream car is a Toyota Sienna because I have four kids and two dogs and it doesn't fit in most vehicles. (laughs) So there you go. You know, that actually has changed over the course of my career. I used to give at least a half an hour every day, and sometimes on the weekends I'd give like a couple hours. But then as my kids, my own kids got older, I realized that that is very unrealistic. So um, I try not to give more than 10 minutes a day. Okay, again, don't laugh. I love the TV show When Calls the Heart on the Hallmark Channel. Uh, when kids think my subject matter is a joke and they, um, don't try even a little bit. I like to hang out with my family and go for walks, watch Hallmark Channel, and read books, and of course, knit. Uh, lots of places. Current things on my list. I want to go see Norway, because I'm Norwegian. I would like to go to Machu Picchu in Peru and uh, Costa Rica. Just a little bit of effort goes a long ways and ask questions.
Hello, we are here today with Carson Desimani from the G Prep Band. We're going to ask him a few questions. So, Carson, being a member of Gonzaga Prep Band, what do you play? I play the alto saxophone and I am currently first chair. Mm, that's really interesting. So, in the band, the year so far, what have you thought about just band as a class, about how you've grown? Well, I would say it's one of my favorite classes, and uh, since freshman year, I was, you know, pretty bad. But now I think I'm pretty good. Like, I've played a couple solos, and yeah, it's just been a great experience. That's awesome, and I understand you have a new teacher. Tell me about him. Yeah, his name's Mr. Sefton, and he's a little bit more strict than the last one, but he's still cool. Like, he's probably the youngest teacher at prep, I think. Like, he just got out of college. But I think he's made us get better as a band. All right. So you guys have any performances coming up? Anything we should, you know, be able to go see? Anything we uh, should know about? This Tuesday, uh, not 100% sure on the time, but pretty sure it's in the announcements. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Um, and so is there anything you'd like to tell the prep community? Anything that we should know about, you know, band, if we, anyone who wants to join, anyone who's interested in band as a class? Well, if you're interested, you should definitely join because we're lacking in members. And if you're worried about not playing an instrument, you can easily learn and we'll guide you through it and whatnot. So just go for it. All right, well, thank you for being on yeah, the show today. It's my pleasure. I really appreciate it. Hope yeah. you have a great day. You as well.